What's up nerds, I'm a Renegade Cactus, but you can call me whatever you want. Welcome to Planetary Exploration Company, a game that I was recently gifted by the creator Christian Ibarra. Thank you for that. Uh, just wanted to say, first and foremost, this is not an ad or anything. I just received the game without asking. Like He, he was like, hey, I see you play games like, uh, you play roguelike games, wanna play the game. Here's the key. I'm like, yeah, awesome, sure. Let's check it out. Uh, I would show you the starting screen, but this is basically the starting screen. The game just straight jumped in. Tutorial, sector exploration. Your job is to explore this planet sector. Use the ladder button to make your explorer step outside the robot. All right. Tutorial, sector exploration. Survive and explore 60% of the map to advance to the next tutorial. Use WASD or clicks to move. Attacks are automatic. So this is our little very slow explorer holy i mean we are on a different planet so i mean it makes sense that we are not fast necessarily tutorial weapons box these boxes contain weapons and upgrades your robot sends one when you fill the exploration bar fill it by exploring the limited quantity it can send open it by clicking or with f when you touch it all right weapons box these are the contents of the weapons box. Click on an option to acquire it. It will be added to the explorer's inventory. Mine that freezes enemies. Cyber boomerang made of wood travels in curved pattern. Or a flamethrower that fires. I mean... They wanna give me a flamethrower? I'm gonna take a flamethrower. So it gets... It, it shoots automatically. Does it, like... Follow any discernible pattern where it shoots or when it shoots. I don't know yet. Now you can go back inside the robot to explore another sector. Use the ladder button to make your explorer re enter the robot. Sure, but first I want to kill some more things and pick up some stuff. Because I can, I think. Also, we do get more stuff if we fill the exploration bar, right? Are we throwing... Yeah, we are throwing... Uh, grenades every now and then. But this is hostile thing. Okay, I want this. It's repair. I don't know if it's for me or the robot. I would assume for the robot. I don't know if this is like my health bar. I mean, of course this is my health bar, but I don't know if it's health or like oxygen or stuff like that. I have no idea. Uh, click the ladder icon. There it is. Okay, go in. We're in. That was stressful. <laughs> Sector exploration, click next sector button to visit a new sector. Traveling there. So, he explained the game as, wait, let me see. Uh, bullet heaven roguelite game where you have to survive in different alien planets, collecting resources, completing jobs to earn money, and make your company grow. So, design your own weapons and more. Oh, bit of a different game. In this genre, you have the planet map divided in mini levels, each with its own difficulty. Enemies and resources that can later be used to unlock tools, also be used to as build materials for upgrades for your employees. That sounds like a lot. And I just want to say before I keep on going, this game is what's it? Uh, two bucks, two two ninety nine on Steam right now, and there is a free demo. So. Yeah, that, that sounds like a lot. Let's see. Find and extract resources. You can use resources in many ways, like building matter. So these five are resources. And we just go out of here. We get some we got some stuff. We immediately get a new weapon. Flamethrower rate of fire. Um probably half the cooldown, I would assume, with the probably hourglass and the 0 0.5. The boomerang or bombs. Bomb explodes after some time. You know what? Let's get boomerang. Just to have more variety for now. I do like the idea of having a faster flamethrower. I also like these things as I would assume like they basically show me my progress. Like they are kind of like EXP, I would say. And they show me where I've already been. I mean, other than me just showing, like filling out the map basically. But... It shows me where I've been. And like I said, it kind of works as EXP or just a way of seeing... Wait, did I not? 
Did I just say that I got a new box and never got to it? Okay. We are technically done. We have we have seen enough of the planet to be able or of the sector to be able to just leave. Uh okay, I cannot go through here. I have to go around and I took some damage. Not good. Enemies are kind of swarming in now. Really not good. I should go back to the robot or to the spaceship or whatever, but I want this box. I mean, can you blame me? I want more stuff to fight on this fight with on this hostile planet. And I like that time just stops there. That's very nice, very useful. Grenade throw rate and boomerang damage. I think I just want to increase the flamethrower for now. Like if if it reduces the downtime of the flamethrower, because it, it it seems very useful. The only problem I have I, I see with it is that it seems to just target one enemy and just keeps going in that direction. We go in, we go to the next sector. Our O2 is dangerously low. Can I do something about that? Evasion roll. Do an evasion. Oh, double clicking left mouse button. Asian rolls deplete energy. When it runs out, you cannot evade until you recover en energy. Okay, but what about O2, though? Because we are still losing O2, which makes a whole lot of sense. It would be very useful to know if I can recharge it in some way or if I just lose. I mean, it is a roguelite. So... Mind it freezes enemies. Damage or boomerang size. Hmm... Yeah, why not? Okay, so it is a roguelite. So there's a possibility that I just go till I don't have any more oxygen and then start again while using the materials that I've collected. Because now, okay, now I'm losing health. Probably because I have no more oxygen, which is pretty dark. <laughs> I mean, it makes sense, but damn. Do we get anything? Like, can we pick up something? We, I mean, we pick up stuff, but can we pick up oxygen? What is this yellow thing? I don't know. We could go back... Okay. To, oh, to energy. I can do it. <laughs> okay, that's a very cute dodge roll. Uh, can we get back to a robot? No. We are dead. Explore unconscious. We won't be able to use it for a few days until he wakes up. That happens, you can only return to the map screen. Holy! Okay. Next day. You cannot explore sectors with an unconscious employee. Makes sense. You'll need to wait a few days before your explorer wakes up. Press the next day button a few times until you see the news that he woke up. Interesting. Expenses summary. We lost $28 in, or we will lose 28 in four days. Okay, so it's basically go around, find stuff, unconscious, <laughs> wakes up, what, Asia? Okay. Choose a delivery inside the base. Oh, there, there, there's so much stuff on screen right now. But I mean, for now, things... Okay, okay, wait. They won, sure. Employee, what, Asia? Is that our employee Doage Doaju Genami? Stomach is 80% full. It gives rumbling and if empty, empty stomach. Increase with bread. Makes sense so far. What's that? Decrease. Something decreased. I don't know what decreased. Energized. Allows you to do a super dash when... Sure. Next day. Employee Wadeja. Oh! Okay. So, these are my two employees, it seems. And they decreased... Their stomach decreased, so... They're, hung they, they're hungry. I mean, that makes a whole lot of sense. I just didn't understand that these two are... Yeah. So, it decreased to 56 and to 69, and this... Uh, it's... 51 and 64. Energized, sure, but we want at least one more until... Okay. Th this is... 
weird, but intriguing. Also, we're going to lose $28 in one day. Tutorial planet map. This is the map of the planet. You can travel with your robot to explore all the sectors of the planet. Your objective is to complete jobs in different alien planets, avoiding running out of money for as long as you can. Manage your employees, research new tools, build new weapons and items to survive, and grow your company. Sure. We're gonna move in just a second, but I just wanna see what happens. So, employee Vadeja, no longer unconscious. This is a fascinating system. This is a fascinating system because you technically don't even need to know what's going on specifically. Like, this person, not injured or unconscious. This person, their stomach, less. This person, their stomach, less. This person, taking health, health increases by 25. Right? Person, uses med kit. Do, do we just have in unlimited ones? I don't know. Uh, uses med kit, health of the person, increases by 25. Person uses O2 canister to increase O2. Oxy oxygen can restores O2. Goes up to 45. Slept, now has energy. Now the energy goes up. This is really cool. Like, th th this fe almost feels like a, uh, like, help kids understand um, programming kind of thing. I kind of like this. Okay, tutorial planet map, click on the indicated sector and then the move button to travel there. While you move, times, time advances and things happen. To check the news section often. So I can't just survive until danger level six. Can we technically job destroy all the alien hives on the sector? Job kill two targeted aliens. So some of them have jobs. Go through one landmark, collect all the resources, and other things just are there. Okay, that's very interesting. What is that? Planetary base. Job survive until danger level 5. We want to go here and survive until danger level 6. Stuff just... Oh. Most of a day passed. So if a day had passed, I would have seen everything. Okay, that makes sense. Click the enter button to explore the sector. Start exploring sectors of danger 1, 2, 3. At first, to have better chances of survival. So... But these these are danger level 1 each. This one doesn't... I It's hard to tell. But I think it's 2. Alright, and we need to survive till danger level 6. Okay, I would assume, yeah, later on we just increase our stuff with the materials that we find, and then we can have more oxygen, more maximum oxygen. We are not fully healed, so it's not just a you're done with this, you're fully healed kind of thing. That's interesting. Also, oh... Weapons box capacity. Maximum quantity of boxes sent by the robot. We're already at 5 out of 6. Huh. I thought every time you're done, basically, it restarts. But Or is it because we got 1, now we only have 5 left? I'm not sure. We're gonna check that out. Destructible objects. Some objects can be destroyed to extract resources. By the way, I once again did not realize that there was a box. But that's on me. Okay, we set down boxes. Okay, ah, uh, damn it. We have to damage it. Do we still throw grenades or do we just did we just start with the box and that's it? I think we just uh I think we just started with the bomb this time. So it's it might just be random might just be random what your starting weapon is. Okay, can we destroy this thing now? Requir oh, requirement. Hand. I don't... Okay. No idea. 
first. Let's go to the box and get a second weapon. Whatever is shooting at us, please stop. Hey, it's a gun. A pistol that shoots bullets. That sounds useful. Like the mine, I want to try the mine, don't get me wrong, but right now we already have a bomb that we just set down. So I would assume... Okay, we're gonna do a... Oh, uh, no. Close up rolls. So getting a second... Whoa, pill bug. Damn it. Getting a second weapon that doesn't do anything like... Destructible object. Yeah, but how... Oh, we click on it. I got it. That didn't seem to work. I see an oxygen capsule. That's good. But we're basically out of health. We're about to die. I don't know if we actually die. No, wait. Last time we also ran out of health, right? So that's when we get unconscious again. Holy. Yep, we are unconscious again. So let's go back to the map screen. <laughs> okay, we got... We completed something, so we got 46. Great, great. So we're still in the plus. Manage employees. Oh! More stuff! Here is where you assign roles to your employees. Each activity needs to have an employee assigned to it. Make sense? If nobody has the explorer role, you cannot explore sectors. Sure. To assign someone to a role, select an employee and click the role you want to fill and then click the assign button. Okay, roles, explorer. Pilot role controls the robot. Of course, you need someone who is a... Yeah, makes sense. Medic role increase quantity of health that can be used per day using brain. Knowledge you acquire from studying alien things. Awesome. Mechanic role repairs the robot shield using stuff we find and a blowtorch. Also reduces damage using broken. Okay. With handling. Okay. Okay. I get it. These are our employees. Knowledge 5 out of 99. Field of view size used when exploring. Interesting. Oxygen, not a whole lot. Walk speed, not a whole lot. Needed to do actions, health. If it reaches zero, the person dies. But we are not dead, we are unconscious. I don't know if you can lose, like, if you only have two people, I don't know if you can lose them. Vitality, okay. Stomach. We could fire someone, but I don't, I don't care for firing people. Uh, we got more oxygen here. Got the same walk speed, less max health, less handling. A lot of times this person can recover from near death. So probably when we reach zero health, we get a second wind or something like that. Okay. Could we technically... Assign? Yeah, we can. And Wudasia will be the pilot once they are up again. This is interesting. Wudasia unconscious. We know. Next day. Wudasia hungry. The other one? The, 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 the. Okay, let's call them Wa and Do. <laughs> Both are hungry. Sure. Money goes down. We... Expense of our money minus 28. I love the way this is shown. I like definitely love it. One thing I gotta say, it's a bit eerily quiet in the background. So some music, even like the smallest little bit would be appreciated. But yeah. All right. So Wa is back. No longer unconscious. Healed. Oxygen. That's great. Item management. Do we have anything? No. Okay. Choose a delivery inside a base. We will do that. But first, we're going to manage our employees. Wadeja. Assign the role. Yeah, we know that. We are the role. is the role of pilot now. So at least Wadeja won't go through one landmark. Let's go over there. Okay, that took a while. An event has occurred. No, someone got sick. Surprise. Robot hits a wall. 
Robot cannot move. Poison. Sick. Shit. Uh, so one of them... Wait. Okay. Close the door. Repair the wall. All right. All right. Success gives you walk speed plus one. Oh, interesting. Okay, I think if I read that correctly, I choose one of our employees and choose one of the actions. So I'm going to choose Doe for the action to close the door. This is awesome because it just show okay. So Doe ran, pushed the button, the door closes, they can breathe again, oxygen, which is a relief. Required the value of one. We it, it, it was I think level one through six, and our value is eight. So yeah. Effects. Doe is now faster, has more oxygen, and more energy. This is amazing. I know at least two people that I really need to send this game. <laughs> okay, let's keep moving. Okay, we lost some money again, so we definitely have to do stuff now. Do we look different now is the question. No, okay, okay. Uh, we don't have an X, so we cannot open this. Give me melee punch attack. Interesting. I think I'm just gonna go with a with a gun that shoots bullets. I mean, we are done with the job here. We could just get going. The event has has occurred. Okay. Find alien artifact. Action. Touch it. Or action. Talk. Success would be unknown and ability to pilot a robot. Fail would just... Okay. Jetpack when you explore, use it to fly above walls and reach tiles far away. Ooh, both would be good. And technically, we know we can do both. Or one of both. Because use our skill is 8. So 1 through 7. Even if it's a 7, it doesn't matter. We have 8. Use knowledge 1 through 5. We have 5. I mean, a jetpack sounds good. Okay, let screw it. Let's talk. Whoa, 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 whoa. Okay, okay. Found alien artifact. We talk. Limits the amount of energy regained after resting. Unknown. An alien creature. Open. Find. Did we open an alien creature? <laughs> Required value. One, your value. Five. Effects unknown and ability to pilot a robot affects robot speed. So our robot is faster now, it seems. Okay, it seems I was right. We cannot get any more. Why don't you pick that up? We're not picking stuff up and I'm not sure why. Aren't these resources? Can I not pick him up? We don't have an axe. We can do that. Uh, okay, we're just gonna leave the plant here. We're just gonna leave. We're we're basically done. Go back to the map. Oh, this is interesting. Visit base. You need to visit a base to buy items in order to survive and also sell items to earn money. Oh, maybe we're full. Maybe our capacity is done. Like... Okay, also, yeah, we, we need fuel. Let's see. Anything interesting? No. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Yeah, someone's hungry. Holy shit. Let's enter the base. Here we have access to various services. Notice that the explorer unequips his weapons. Click the market button to, to buy items. Select where you want to transfer items using the drop-down list. For now, select your first employee. Search for these items using the category tabs on the left. 
type or hold your mouse button to set five of each. Add a quantity of an item to greater its effects, then click the buy button. Okay. Uh, so consumables, awesome. Robot stuff, awesome. Resources, tools, upgrades. Oh, this is this is good. So first of all, we want bread. Type or hold your mouse button to set five of each I mean we're just gonna oh so you want me to buy f five of each right now is that what the game is like that might sound like a stupid uh, stupid question but yeah I think that was it okay your employees will use the equipped items automatically if needed after a day passes you can change many aspects of the game using items, explore the list. Okay. We still have 137, so we're gonna just I wanna buy close the window to continue, but I wanna buy stuff. I, I get that this is a tutorial. A tutorial should let me do stuff still. <laughs> I want. Uh, what did I just pick? I think I said 20. Let's go with 15 this time and click buy. Let's go to you. We got 50 and 5 here. Let's buy 5 more. 5 of these and... Two, nope. 20 here. Shit. <laughs> we, need, we need money. <laughs> Okay, okay, okay. Also, technically, we need something like uh, fuel. But I think... Wait, what switch? Oh, here we can sell stuff. Well, we don't have anything to sell, so that's all right. Oh, no, none. Energized. I could... I could sell energized? Like, I could sell oxygen. Okay, I get it. I mean, that's kind of weird, but I get it. But I could sell energized? Like, not energy, but energized? Weird. Okay, planet map. We need to... Okay, it's saved. Map sectors offer different types of jobs that give... My goodness, that's a lot. Like, this game is a lot. In a good way, also in a bad way. In a bad way, because I just thought, okay, this is going to be a 20, 30 minute video and that's going to be it. But in a good way, there's so much to do. And we're only in the tutorial. Like, I mean, we're only grazing the surface. Map, sect map, map sectors offer different types of jobs that give money as a reward. Try completing a job by entering a sector that contains a job symbol. Uh, job kill two aliens. I think we can do this before we lose all our money. Yeah. We are about to lose 28 bucks. We need... Yeah, they are less hungry. That's awesome. Uh, so now we enter, do the job, and hopefully for that job get enough money. All right. We got the mines this time. It's interesting that you just start with different weapons every single time. It says, kill two aliens. An event has occurred. Building, go inside. Explore, confused. Explore, confused. Okay, action, explore again. Success, button and oxygen tanks. Ooh, increases maximum quantity of oxygen. Or action, use your knowledge. By asking, needs research in the lab, and gives hunger. Oh, I mean, I kind of want both, but the oxygen increase for now seems better. Past time, find, go outside, happy. <laughs> I, I love the way things are explained here. This is so fun. Okay, so it's not just kill two of any aliens, it's just to kill two specific ones. 
This was one. We don't have a hammer. We cannot open this up. Why? Okay, now we're picking up stuff again. I'm not sure why we didn't last time, but I'm probably just missing something here. Okay. I was about to say, I hope the flamethrower starts soon. Okay, we're done with the job. Now we go. Because otherwise we just lose resources. We won't get any... We won't get any more money, I think, after we're done with the job. Go back to the base and use the new research lab to unlock items. Awesome. Let's move there and buy some fuel. We have enough money for one more. Okay. Okay. This is... Fascinating. Research lab. Click the lab research lab button to unlock new items. Whoa. You can unlock new items that can be built in the workshop. List shows the resources you collected that are used for research. Needs research. I mean, yeah, but what is it? Needs research in a lab. Result, direction, left and right. Directions, left and right. No, wait, what? No, okay. I Okay, what? it costs one day. It needs 11 of this. And a result... Okay, so here we have resources and we, oh, we click on it to see what we can research with these materials. Directions left and right, weapon feature. Okay, we can attack to the left and the right. Needs one day and it needs two, we have 11. Okay, we could just put more stuff in if we had everything we needed. Trajectory drop weapons. Gas mask protects against poison. Very useful. Needs a few days. Let's just check it out. Bread. One day. Needs research. That looks like a log <laughs> for bread. But okay. Those are some weapons. We need a second of these green pumpkins. Definitely. But yeah, I'm gonna do these two things now. Or do we just... Uh, select something that can be researched, then close this window. Oh, we just select it, and that's it. All right, workshop. G click the workshop to build items. Oh my goodness. Can build items using the resource you collect. Select this category, the robot. Click on item to see its requirements. Enables the current effects panel in the exploration screen. Okay. Enables the current selected delivery job. It was the Explorer inventory. I don't understand. Log panel. I don't necessarily get it, so we're just gonna do it. Building with start suit. Now close this window. Okay, so it automatically just goes. Good. Okay. Three days have passed. Roll through the new section to see what was built. Wait. So... Because we clicked on research and workshop, it just automatically went forward. Did I get that right? I'm not sure. It's an item you need to... <laughs> oh my goodness, there's so much reading. I mean, that's awesome. Because there is so much more to this game than it looked in the beginning. But holy crap, this is going to be a long video. If you use an item, you need to transfer it to the inventory of the person that will use it. Makes sense? Uh, select the base storage. Base storage. Select to transfer where to use... Wait. Ooh. Oh, there it is. Base storage to robot storage. This one. One... I mean, uh, one of it. Okay. Transfer. Now we got the... Enables the current effects panel. Okay. Got it. Awesome. Now go back to the planet map to complete more jobs and make money. Sure. Can I buy first? Workshop, research lab. Give me the option. It, like, if I don't get the option for a shop, I cannot keep going. Tutorial hives. Destroy all hives on the planet to use the base spaceport to travel to a new planet. Oh, so it's the boss. Okay. Still, I want to enter here. Oh, now we can do it. Oh, oh, there's stuff. There is stuff. Okay, okay. Um, I don't know how much we need necessarily, but we also... I mean, let's just buy five of it. 
We don't have money, so we need to do a job in three days once again. Which means we can only go to a... Sector info. Oh, oh. Okay, now I get it. It's a biome, grass biome owned by us. Biome entities, we don't know. And biome resources. Okay, that's, that's awesome. Let's move there and hope... How to use. Cannot move when it runs out of fuel and ammo. You have to skip a few days until a random event gives you the chance to buy fuel. But we don't have much. No, what? They they are dying because they, their hunger decreases. Wait, didn't we equip them? <laughs> oh my goodness. <laughs> oh no. Wait. Uh... What Asia? Don't you have any like food? No, you used them. You used it all. Enter. Okay, we we were able to enter. That's good. We don't have any health, so a single hit will destroy us. Oh. Effects. Terrain type, terrain attribute poison. So we can't be poisoned. And we need to reach danger level 5, I think it was. Holy shit. We're only in the tutorial and I'm about to die. Multiple times already. <laughs> danger 2. Yay. Okay. Enemy's health 1. Okay. We just need to hold out a bit longer. Get the gun. And we're dead. Kinda. Again. Which means we don't have the money. Which means... Can we just switch? And assign the role? Yes, we can. Which means... Technically, we should be able to enter... With our explorer, with our other guy as an explorer. Oh, there's so much micromanagement in here. Oh, wow. So, generally, we're, we're probably gonna go down pretty soon. Like, I don't see myself winning this. Like, at all. So, I'm gonna... I'm gonna give you my thoughts on the game so far. Okay. I need I need a weapon. I need a weapon. But since we already basically got the weapon, so our other character now has the weapon. Ha! Huh. I love the idea. I love how this game seems simple, or it looks simple. I mean, looks can be deceiving, as we know. The media attack always goes in the direction we're facing. That is... No, it's not... For some reason, it just didn't hit the end. Whatever, okay. But yeah, it looks can be deceiving. It's very simple in terms of graphics, although it, it works. It Like, the graphic just works. Graphics just work. Okay, we, we're done with the job. Go in, go in. Go to the map. We, we want to go away. Holy shit. Explore job unlocked. A new job type that has been unlocked. Check here for more info. In the job, you have to explore 100% of many sectors to get paid. The bar shows how many sectors you have left to explore. They have to be a specific danger level. Oh, wow. So, the blue sectors, three of them, danger level one, so that's okay. And if we 100% all three of them, we get 100, is what I gather here. Thing is... <sighs> We, we cannot move because we don't have fuel. So we can't go back to buy fuel or bread or whatever. Oh, this is awesome. Like, it, it, seems, it, it seems like I'm in a bad spot. And I mean, yeah, gameplay wise I am. But I love the idea of this game. I'm not going to keep, I'm not going to play anymore for today. I, I might do a, I think I will do another video on this game, but I might just finish the tutorial on my own, although this is a demo or a beta, beta test, so I'm not sure how much like, there is, but I love the idea. I love the blend of simplicity, but also so much complexity. 
like this, there is so much management. I mean, on, like, just you got two employees. One of them has to be the explorer. So what did I do when one of them basically went down? I just used the other one. But now I only got one. I don't have a pilot. I could switch back to the pilot, but I don't have the fuel. I I mean, I'm just going to click here and see. We, we got some. We lost some money, but we had enough. That's good. Yeah, we, we, we are now more energized, but we still don't have anything. For some reason, this doesn't go down. They are losing. They, they are hungry. They should technically be dying. M maybe. Game over. Bankrupt. Okay, that's what I wanted to know, because for some reason it still kept saying in three days. Your company went bankrupt since you don't have enough money to pay our employees or robot maintenance. Next time, pay attention to the deadline and make enough money to sustain your business. Wow. Do you need tutorials? No. Because I can press on the... Okay, I can check out the tutorials anytime I want. That's good to know. So, overall, I love the idea. I love the look of it. One thing, like I said, the, the eerie quietness. Like, just some... I get it. A whole lot of music wouldn't work here. But just some like some spherical kind of melody, just in the background, just a little bit, tiny bit, like I want to say like Minecraft music, but kind of similar to Minecraft music, where you never even realize it's there usually, unless it just picks up. But overall, I I am intrigued. I want to play more of this, but I think <laughs> forty two minutes and a big fail are enough for now. Let me know if you want to see more of this, all the people who are still here. And just, like I said, it's on Steam. I'm going to put the link in the description. It's on Steam. It costs three bucks. The demo is free. Just give it a try yourself. This is fascinating. <laughs> so kudos to Christian Ibarra. That is, that is an interesting game. But yeah. Thank you, nerds, so much for watching. By the way, subscribe if you haven't already. Uh, thank you, nerds, so much for watching. I'm the Renegade Cactus, and I gotta run. Bye-bye.